The, and, and blatant the list of things that were not discussed tonight in a, night, in a night that was all about domestic policy. No discussion of the 47 At all. remarks. No discussion That's of immigration. The fault. No discussion of union rights. No discussion of women's rights. Abortion. No discussion of Bain. No discussion of abortion. No discussion of Romney's jobs record in Massachusetts, even as he kept bringing up Massachusetts over and over again. Let's go to Chris Matthews uh, for his response in Denver. Chris, what do you think? Well, this uh, tonight wasn't an MSNBC debate, was it? It just wasn't. It had none of the things you mentioned. It didn't mention all the key fighting points of this campaign. And certainly there was no Bobby Kennedy in the green room before uh, Barack Obama came out tonight. I don't know what he was doing out there. He had his head down. He was enduring the debate rather than fighting it. Romney, on the other hand, came in with a, a, a campaign. He had a plan. He was going to dominate the time. He was going to be aggressive. He's going to push the moderator around, which he did effectively. He was going to relish the evening enjoying it. Nothing to do with the words he spoke. Here's my question for Obama. I know he likes to say he doesn't watch cable television, but maybe he should start. Maybe he should start. I don't know how he let Romney get away with the crap oh, he threw out tonight about, about Social Security. Listen to the stuff he got away with. He said, you know, uh, emergency room. The latest thing we got from Romney, because he said so, is, you know what I want to do with people when they're poor? Shove them in the emergency room. Why didn't Obama say that? Why didn't he say that? You talk about Social Security and Medicare, uh, Medicare people, they're part of your 47%. You want to drop them from the list of eligible Americans. You don't have any care for these people. What are you talking about? We've got it on tape, Governor. We got it on tape what you think of these people don't come out here and pretend you care about old people because you met somebody at some campaign event you've written off 47 percent of the country before you even started where was obama tonight he should watch well not just hardball rachel should watch you and should watch the reverend now <laughs> he should watch lawrence he would learn something about this debate there's a hot debate going on in this country you know where it's being held here on this network is where we're having the debate we have our knives out we go after the people and the facts what was he doing tonight he went in there disarmed he was like oh wait an hour and a half i think i can get through this thing and i don't even look at this guy where's romney i love the split screen staring at obama addressing him like the prey he did it just right I'm I'm coming at an incumbent. I got to beat him. You got to beat the champ. And I'm going to beat him tonight. And I don't care what this, uh, this guy moderator, whatever he thinks he is, because <laughs> I'm going to ignore him. What was Romney doing? He was winning. He was winning tonight. That's and my thought. I, I, I was stunned. That was my thought. That, he was winning. And if sure he does five more of these nights, forget it. it well, just uh, a thought. It, it puts the pressure and, and now know, on the Obama president. Obama should watch MSNBC. My last point. <laughs> he will learn something every night on this show and on all these shows. This stuff we're watching, this is like first grade to most of us. We know all this stuff. Well, I was in front of a crowd last night in Denver, Colorado, and I know that they're stunned. I can feel it. I mean, the president tonight was disappointing when he allowed Mitt Romney to talk about $716 billion in Medicare, and the president did not come out and explain it and go after it. I thought Mitt Romney tonight was in his wheelhouse when he was talking about the economy. Paul Ryan is cutting $716 for Medicare, the exact same number exactly. in his budget, exactly. which was passed by the Republican House, and the president never mentioned it three yeah. or four times. He had a bite at that apple, never it, did it. It does, it does remind you that the last debate that Mitt Romney had was seven months ago, and the last debate that Barack Obama had was, was four years ago, and the people who he's used to sparring with are reporters who are asking him questions from a seated position as he stands at a lecture. Well, I, I 45 minutes, we got, people, we got people 40... asking, how did he prepare? How did, he, how did, how did the president prepare well, for we this? Got, we got 45 minutes in before we got a Ryan budget mention, which was shocking to me, right? Mitt Romney made the choice to put, Romney on the tick, uh, to put Ryan on the ticket. Now, when we look at where in the polls started to separate, they actually start to separate before the convention. They start to separate right around when Ryan is put on the ticket. When do the numbers on Medicare and the polling start to go upside down for the Republicans? They start to go upside down when Ryan is put on the ticket. And yet we get 45 minutes for the debate before Paul Ryan is mentioned. Paul Ryan is the incarnation of the modern Republican Party, which will inherit the power that you give to Mitt Romney since they will be governing from the House most likely. And so that is the key thing is to remind people there is a governing arm of the Republican Party that already exists. Mitt Romney is in the position of it's like nailing Jello to a wall because he can say, well, that's not in my plan. Oh, I, I don't actually agree with that. No, no, no. You are tied to an actual institutional governing body called the House Republican Caucus, which actually has a record, which actually is going to propose and vote for things that you actually put on your ticket. They are you and you are they. And that connection never really happened. And it's not in the future. It's not hypothetical. He said, if the, Rom if the Ryan plan came to my I would death, sign it. I would sign it. I want to go to Lawrence O'Donnell, who is in Denver, who is in the spin room. Lawrence, what are your thoughts?